on my website, I've got a category called Dilwyn's Diary. And from the moment we had him, I started to record images, footage, footage of our Bedlington Terrier so that I could look back and look at his development. Anyway, this time, this month, it's slightly different because I've got a couple of stories to tell. And I'm sure sometimes that inside this body of a dog is actually a human being because he thinks and reacts like that. The first story this week, I haven't been very well. And on one day in particular, I was in bed. I stayed in bed till three o'clock in the afternoon. And we live in a bungalow, a dormer bungalow. So only a few steps anyway, upstairs. And several times during the course of that day, because I was in bed till afternoon, Dilwyn made his way up and woke me just to see that I was okay. So I was sleeping and then I became aware that Dilwyn was poking me. And he was doing this actually. <laughs> he was licking me just to see that I was okay. And then he would lie by the side of me and disappear, go back down and then come back up again. And I thought to myself, how thoughtful and considerate is that? He was worried about me, wanted to make sure I was okay. And the second story that also has happened this week, I was in the chair in this room. I was sitting in my chair and then we went to bed, my wife and I, and I realised that I hadn't got my wedding ring. I'd lost it. So I went back downstairs and had a look around. I knew where I'd been and what I'd been doing. Couldn't find it anywhere. I went on the floor. I thought it's probably dropped off. It's been cold week and it's probably dropped off because your finger does get, get smaller, doesn't it, in the cold. And I thought to myself, it's dropped off. It's on the floor somewhere. Wasn't. I, I went all the way over the floor. I got on my hands and knees and I made sure that I was covering every little bit of area around the chair itself because it's a similar colour to the, to the carpet. So went to bed and thought, it's gone midnight, get up tomorrow morning and I'll have a, a, a better look. So in the morning, I got up and did the same thing. I checked down the sides of the chair and everywhere else. I pulled the chair back, so I'll give it a proper look this time. Hands and knees, and I was sweeping my hand across the carpet so that even if I couldn't see the ring, I'd be able to to pick it up with my hand. And as I'm doing that, Dilwyn comes along, he goes behind his bed, and I, no and I noticed him, I could see he did that. He went behind his bed, I didn't really pay too much attention. And then he came to me as I was sweeping my hand across the carpet, he wants to play now. As I was sweeping my hand across the carpet, and what did he come in front of me? And this is absolutely true, my wife was, was there at the time, Dilwyn, he came in front of me and he got my ring in his mouth and he dropped it. And I thought to myself, he must have taken it, hidden it behind his bed. And here I am, did he know I was looking for it? I was on the carpet sweeping away and he came and dropped the ring right in front of me. So he's thoughtful and considerate. He's also very intelligent as well. Check out my website, Dilwyn's Diary.